Question 21 says Bohr's atomic model first uses Einstein's photoelectric equation, second predicts continuous emission spectra for atoms, third predicts same emission spectra for all types of atoms, or fourth assume that the angular momentum of the electron is quantized. The student, the correct answer for this question is option number four. This is a theoretical question. Bohr assumes that the angular momentum in a particular stationary orbit is quantized and the angular momentum has a value of n into h by 2 pi that is it is an integral multiple of h by 2 pi the second and the third options are wrong the second option says that it predicts continuous emission spectra for atoms this is wrong because the Bohr's atomic model assumes and predicts that the emission spectra for atoms will be discrete as their discrete energy levels in an atom as per the third option it predicts same emission spectra for all types of atoms this is wrong as well because it predicts different emission spectra and the energy levels for different type of atoms and it depends not only on the n that is the principal quantum number but also on the z that is the atomic number of the relevant atom and hence for this question the correct answer is option number four moving on to the question number 22 question 22 says for a series lcr circuit the power dissipated at resonances the symbols have the usual meaning and i is the rms current now dear student the power is given as V RMS into I RMS into cos phi where cos phi is the power factor the cos phi is equal to 1 in case of resonance so this will be equal to V RMS into I RMS and this will be equal to I into R as the net impedance at resonance is equal to R into I as the RMS value of current is given to be equal to I and this will be equal to i square r and hence for this question the correct answer turns out to be option number three now let us move to the question number 23 in question 23 a capillary tube of radius r and height 2 h is immersed in water the water rises up to a height h the mass of the water in the tube is 10 g if the whole system falls freely under gravity then the mass of the water that will rise in the tube is now the students as the whole system falls freely the capillary rise in the capillary tube will be up to the maximum height possible and in this case the capillary tube will experience a capillary rise equal to 2h now in the case of h if the mass is m we can find out the mass in the case of height 2h the mass can be written as the density into the volume and volume can be written as pi into r square that is the area of the base into height h so this will be m in the second case m dash will be equal to rho into pi r square into 2h we can divide these two equations and we can write down that m dash by m will be equal to 2 or m dash will be equal to 2m and hence in this case twice of the initial mass in the capillary will be present of the water since initially the mass is 10 gram the final mass will be 10 into 2 that is 20 grams therefore for this question the correct answer is option number one now let us move to the question number 24 in question 24 consider the statements first the limit of resolution of a microscope can be decreased by filling a liquid of high refractive index between the object and the objective lens b resolving power is inversely proportional to the wavelength lambda this student we have to choose the correct statement and the four options are a only b only both a and b and neither a nor b now the limit of resolution of the telescope that is the minimum distance between the points which can be resolved correctly or properly is given as 1.22 lambda by 2 mu sine beta therefore if mu is increased as in the first statement the d minimum will decrease and hence statement one is correct now let us analyze the statement b the statement b says that the resolving power is inversely proportional to lambda dear student the resolving power is equal to one by limit of resolution and from this first equation we can clearly see that this will be inversely proportional to lambda and hence b statement is correct as well therefore for this question the correct answer is option number three now let us solve the question number 25 
Dear students, question number 25 says the solids which have the negative temperature coefficient of conductances. Metals, insulators, semiconductors, a fourth option which says both 2 and 3. The students on increasing the temperature, the conductance of the metal decreases. And hence, we can say that the metals here have a negative temperature coefficient of conductance. Therefore, for this theoretical question, the correct answer straight away is option number 1. Now moving on to the question 26. Mm -hmm. 